got one more team. The Vanderbilt Commodores. Clark Lee coming in. I got a question to to start off this this preview here because there's there's not a lot to this preview. They're a bad football team. I wonder if I should worry about Clark Lee hiring a bunch of his buddies that like he went to school with and stuff like that. Like I I feel like you want your coaching staff to have camaraderie and all that, but I also wonder, you know, this guy got his he finally got his head coaching job at the school that he went to and then he went and hired a bunch of his friends and I don't know that that's always the right route to go. Like I don't have any complaints about any of the people that he hired, but I I also wonder are, are these all going to be yes men or are all of like are you guys really close to the point where they feel like they can be honest about the way you're doing? I don't know. It's a it's a strange scheme. I I really wanted the, I want this hire to work. I had more of an issue with him, like not giving people numbers. Yeah, and oh, you got to earn your number. Like old school, come on, you know, dude. Hard it head is mentality. 2021, yeah. and you're the coach at Vanderbilt. If anybody needs to earn the right to be in this room, it's you. Because everybody that's been in the room that's stood in your place have been awful, all right? Yes. I earn my right to be here because I actually show up and work out and play football for this shitbox team. <laughs> and we're not good, but we're trying. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Earn your whistle. <laughs> Uh, last year's offense uh, was as bad a P5 offense as I have ever seen. Yeah. Uh, now, the quarterback, Ken Seals, did flash some, you know, he, he looked good in spots, but there was no in, there was no consistency. Uh, just the offensive line wasn't good. It, there was just, there was nothing good about last season. Like, there were, there were spots where they, like, stayed in games somehow, like Texas A&M. Like, that was, that was less than a touchdown. I have no idea how that happened. But either way, it was the first game of the year, is what it is. Defense was dead last in the Power Five in 2020, and that is after uh, being next to dead last in the P5 in 2019. And that's under Derek Mason. That's with a great defensive coach. Uh, this is a massive rebuilding job. I-, I trust Clark Lee as a defensive coordinator. I mean, he's been at Notre Dame for the last ever many years. I can't believe they went he, back-to-back defensive coaches. Uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised. I don't know... I, I don't know what they're doing, but they are putting, I will say this, they are finally putting in the financial means that you have to to be able to compete in this conference, but I am curious about the hiring. I'm going to ask a question about this situation. This is a very disrespectful thing for Clark Lee. I don't mean it to be, but it, do you think this is a uh, Cronin type situation? To where things had just gotten so bad, so bad at Vanderbilt, to where we're just not even respectable. There's I got to like bring a, a Vanderbilt guy in. We're going to stabilize the program to some type of respectability. We're going to put a lot of money into it. We're going to get people excited about it, even if we're bad. And then the we're next guy hire comes the in. next guy, and he's going to have a foundation laid, somewhat like Mike Shula at Alabama when they had to hire. Shula in like May. That's right. Or whatever. Uh, I had not thought of it that way. Because I did because I thought. But it's entirely possible. The only reason this guy got the job was because he's, they need a, because you do have to have a Vanderbilt guy for that. I don't think you can bring in an outsider who has no connection to the school and ask them to do that because they're not going to build the foundation you want. Yeah, that's true. I think that has like, to be an inside guy. Like I, I will say this, the fact that Clark Lee – Got a job before Mike Elko. Yeah, surprised the. Absolute uh, I think mess Mike Elko could have gotten a lot of these jobs. I don't think Mike Elko wanted to. Uh, it's entirely about it. He I could think be he like sees Venables. a chance to win a win a champ. I don't know that. I think he might want to. I think he sees a chance to win a championship at A and M with Jimbo yeah. at some point in time. And if he goes and takes a program over, he's taken over a rebuild. I think mean, nobody's handed him the keys to a to to a program like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, that's the issue is I, I think let's say A&M has a magical season this year, next year, whatever, and they win it all. I could, I could see Elko walking. There you go. I, there I you think, go. I think Aranda did the same thing. I mean, yeah, yeah, so, entirely possible. Anyway, let's, uh, let's close this thing. What's out. What's our total? Uh, oh, Vanderbilt's total is three and a half. 
I'm going under that. What's the I'm price? Under. What does uh, it cost me to go under? Over is minus 105. Under is minus 125. Oh, that's not enough. I'll go under. I'll go under as well. I think this under three and a half. is three. Yeah. And there's a world where they lose two of those games. I mean, it. <laughs> like they, I mean, they if they are, lost to, to Colorado State and UConn, it wouldn't shock me. They are projected underdogs to Colorado State. Yeah. By mm -hmm. a touchdown. By a touchdown. Holy crap. They, they probably are going to lose that game then. Yeah, and I thought the ceiling was three. I didn't say they'd get to three. That's, <laughs> that's the that's the roof they're bouncing their head off of. Yes, yes, it is. So yes, four is just not happening. Oh my gosh! All right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.